school again, Mr. Higgins will be checking up on me again. Laura, you can deal with it. Now, you have so far. But what about Leslie and Rick? I can't solve the problems between them, even though I caused them. Because I got involved with someone like David Laura, Laura, come on, come on. Let's not talk about that, all right? Not tonight. But they're very real problems, Scotty. And they're not going to disappear just because we don't talk about them. Yeah, but Laura, talking about them over and over again isn't going to do any good either. The only way to get rid of a problem is to just solve it. And then live your life. I could. If my life was always like it is tonight. Away from those people. And the memories. It will someday, Laura. People are gonna forget what happened. No, they won't, Scotty. I took a person's life. No one's gonna forget that. I have. But how could you? All you have to do is look at me. The same person whose picture's been in all the newspapers. It's very easy, Laura, because I don't see the picture in the paper. I see a very beautiful girl who can get whatever she wants in life if she tries. I'm not sure what I want just yet, Scotty. But I, I can't imagine being happy at anything unless you were a part of it. I told you tonight was going to be the start of a new beginning. Looks like I'm late twice in a row, Bobby. I'm sorry. Oh, Andrea, it's okay. No rush. I'll say. You're usually halfway out the door by the time I get off the elevator. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for this really important phone call, so I think I'm just going to wait around for a few more minutes. Oh, well, I'd be happy to take uh, Mrs. Brewer's number for you if they call. Uh, okay. But, Andrea, promise you won't forget. Now, this is really important. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Lobby, Miss Mitter. Yes, yeah, she's right here. Hold on, please.